Hi guys, sorry about that. I guess this is part two, very much unplanned, but my screen recorder, for whatever reason, only allows me to record 15 minutes. I think we were up to quotation two, the teacher locked eyes with the late student, and we were discussing the effect of that verb locked. Hopefully you can see that we are perhaps dealing with quite an angry teacher due to the due to this particular student being, I guess, late for class, maybe this student is going to get a good old fashioned telling off or a detention or something like that. The third quotation, they charged towards the supermarket as the doors swung open. Of course, our setting, the supermarket, is perhaps opening first thing in the morning. That powerful word, Hopefully you managed to identify charged and that verb, I guess in many ways, seems to suggest that these particular shoppers are quite excited about something. There's this, there's a lot of force, there's a lot of energy to try and get to the supermarket, get inside of the supermarket as quickly as possible. Hopefully that wasn't too difficult. Now let's continue to practice analysing and we are going to practice using what I call the zoom in technique and this really is going to enable you to show Cambridge that you are aware of how language works, that you are able to identify words and you are able to comment on the impact of words. So we'll go through this one together and then I think there's two or three short activities that I would like you to have a go at. So let's look at this sentence. The boy sunk to his knees as he prepared to enter the examination hall. What is the powerful word in that sentence? Well, hopefully you can see that the word which carries, I guess, significant meaning is that verb sunk. Okay, and I've just put there, it's of course a verb, it's an action. What does it seem to suggest about the boy? Well, that verb sunk suggests that the boy is perhaps feeling anxious over taking an exam. Furthermore, it could suggest that the boy doesn't feel fully prepared for the exam that he's about to take. So for the next activities, what I would like you to do is structure your analysis in exactly the same way. So try and give two ideas and use that connective furthermore to develop your analysis. And these are all good skills that will prepare you to answer the writer's effect question successfully. So your sentence is, the man's hawk-like eyes began to scan the room for his next victim. What I want you to do now is identify the powerful word or write it down on your paper identify what word class that word belongs to and tell me what it suggests about the man. So use the zoom in technique and you can pause the video now. Now hopefully you were able to, well you could identify a, a number of powerful words. You've got that adjective hawk-like, you've got that verb scan and of course you've got that noun victim. So let's go with that adjective hawk like so i might be inclined to put something along the lines of the adjective hawk like highlights the man's intent stare it's clear he's ruthlessly seeking out his next victim that's my first idea and then i will go on to develop it using the connective furthermore furthermore it makes him seem like a brutal killer one that's unstoppable. Anything along those lines would be sufficient. And your last task is to look at this sentence and do exactly the same process as the previous task. And the sentence is, scattered exam papers covered the teacher's desk. Identify the powerful word, what word class does the word belong to, and make two suitable comments about that powerful word. And you can pause the video now. Now moving on to the last activity. 
your sentence is scattered exam papers covered the teacher's desk. What is the powerful word? What word class does the word belong to? And what does it seem to suggest about the teacher? Okay, you are feel, uh, feel free to identify more than one powerful word and you can pause the video now. Now, hopefully you managed to identify that adjective scattered and that verb covered. Okay, so taking that adjective scattered, I might be inclined to put something along the lines of the adjective scattered shows how the teacher is perhaps disorganized. Furthermore, it could suggest that they have a lot of work to do and maybe they are struggling to, I guess, keep on top of things. Anything along those lines would be perfect. That's all for today, guys. If you like this style of video or you have any feedback, do leave your comments below and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, bye-bye.